Hi there, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince, and in this video today we're going to try to fix up this beast of a 1960s radio. Look at that. Straight out of a Michael Caine film. So, this was sold on eBay last summer. I was told about it from a guy called Mark, who's also a Patreon. He's got his own YouTube channel called Zig's Fix, and I bought it as soon as I seen it. I just liked the look of it. I thought it would be a, a, nice, uh, a nice thing to repair. If anybody's interested, this is Mark's channel here, Zig's Fix. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's got various repair videos, so you can uh, check that out if you have time. So now with this one here, it was sold as 40 and sure enough when I plug it in, it is doing absolutely nothing. Apparently Grundig, which is the manufacturer of this, it was made between 1967 and 1973. So quite an early radio as far as the sort of stuff I do on my channels. I don't think I've done much from the 60s before. Uh, but Grundig is a good make. I had a Grundig TV when I was younger, a portable telly. And uh, that went everywhere with me, even to university. And all my mates used to take the mick out of it because they just thought Grundig was funny. Vince, can we watch the Grundig tonight? Because that was back in the day when not everybody had TVs when they went, you know, when they left home. So um, my Grundig used to get passed around and it's still working now. As far as I know, it's still at my dad's house. So uh, yeah, it's quite a novelty to have a Grundig on the channel. Anyway, let's plug it in and I'll show you that it's not doing anything. So when I turn it on there, uh, nothing's happening. When I hit these buttons, there doesn't seem to be any sign of life. Also, some of the buttons doesn't, you know, doesn't quite feel right. Do you know what I mean? Some of them, they don't always pop up when they pop down. Uh, when I do this here and this here, nothing's happening. When I do the tuner, tuner feels lovely. It's just so nicely weighted. When I turn that, it's like it wants to keep going. It's like it's assisted, do you know what I mean? It's like going from a car with no power steering, maybe not a car, a van. The first transit van I used to drive had no power steering. You'd honestly break your forearms trying to reverse park that. And then when you go to power steering in a transit, you're just like, ah, oh, so nice. And that is what this is like here. Ah, oh, it's good. Right, okay, uh, let's bring it over to the blue mat and see what's what. In the packaging it had a little bit of wood, so obviously this is just a veneer, it's not like a solid piece of wood, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to really do much with the scratches. But if we get it working, we can clean it up. The fact is no power, I'm hoping it's gonna be quite interesting. Let's see if we can get it sorted. Well, I found where this bit comes from anyway, and it is here. So I'll have to put this to one side and uh, see if we can get it working, I'll glue that later. Right, first things first, should we check the fuse or should we see, let's take the back off and then we can just check maybe from the prongs here to the other end. Now obviously I am unplugged and I need to be very careful because we are gonna have 240 volts going directly into here. This is a type RF150 made in Germany. Interesting here, look, it says West Germany. So this is before the uh, Berlin Wall came down. And uh, yeah, what have we got here now? Volts. So at the moment it's on 220 volts, I can just see in here. Looks like we can plug in an external speaker there. Maybe this is for a, maybe plugging in a record player or something, possibly. And we have aerial here. Look at the way they've done the aerial. It goes up to here. So it goes round to here, and then it's kind of like this cardboard foil. The same stuff that was on that horse racing game. Do you remember the horse racing game I did? Now this is gonna be incredibly awkward to actually film. I think I have to because of the size of it. Let's start by undoing this one here. screws here as well and here. Here we go. 
Excellent. Right, I'm going to have to unclip this, aren't I? Right, so that unplugs, and that goes on the top one there. Right, we're in. So, what have we got going on? This whole thing wants to come out, really. Oh, there's so much dust in it. Look at it down here. Look at that. Whoa. Right, I don't think this has been a part in a long time. So now, what's going on? From here, it goes straight into this area here. Can't really see where it goes to. Uh, okay, let's check the fuse to begin with, because it could just be the fuse. So it looks like there's just two wires here, so no earth wire. Also the old style plug with no insulation here on the live and neutral. What fuse we got? 13 amp. 13 amp's a bit high, isn't it? Yeah, 13 amp. I haven't looked at the back, but I'm sure it doesn't need a 13 amp. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Fuse is blown. <laughs> oh, the fuse is blown. Right, okay. Well, if that's just it, then it's, uh, it's not going to be uh, really... Well, I suppose it's still a repair video. Let's see if we can just give this thing a nice clean up. Let's pop the fuse out. Let's have a look at the back, see what fuse it should have. So what's, uh, what is it, max 10 watts at 240 volts? Well, if it was one amp, you're going to get up to 240 watts. So a three amp fuse, unless I'm mistaken, would be perfect in here. Because in the UK, we have like three amp, five amp, and well, you can get all different amps, but commonly on these, you would have three amp, five amp, and 13. I think a three amp fuse will be just fine. Mind you, why did the fuse blow? Mm, maybe it has got a fault. Well, let's uh, let's pop a three amp fuse in it and see what it does. Yeah, actually, hopefully there might be something else. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's come out there. It had this weird sort of powder stuff in it. It's down on the bench down here, the uh, mat. Oh, that's a shame. Right, let's uh, let's get a fuse. Right. Okay, I'm going to change the plug as well while I'm here because they're not uh, they're not safe anymore. Even though it is nice to see them on an old device because they're original. And to be fair, the older plugs are probably much better quality because they feel like some sort of like baker light or something. Right, so I've got a three amp fuse. Now, two wires, so I presume it doesn't matter, but I am going to wire them up the same way, just in case, uh, just in case it does. So the short one's going over to live, and the longer one to neutral. Right, well, the cable clamp that way is not doing anything, so let's spin it around the other way. Right, 
Right, okay, that's nicely clamped now. Was a little notch cut out there. Was that if you wanted to run a separate earth wire into it? Don't know if I've ever noticed that before. And that's not, uh, that's intentional. You know, that's in the molding. Right, let's see, is it going to be safe to turn on like this if I keep my hands well away from it? I think it should be. Right, here goes. Let's see if it goes bang. Bagging it in. There. Oh, it made a noise. It made a noise. Can I hear anything? Yeah, listen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Made me jump. Here we go. Oh, look at the little uh, VDU meter. Is it VDU or VU? There's a politics in the pen is a way to get back in touch with her dad in a sense. When she was 16, her packed her bags and left. Ran off with another man, her father's biographer. Maureen wouldn't well, there see you go. her again for 15 years. Felt abandoned by Whoa, her. that goes loud. So a radio that's over 50 years old is still working fine. So there's a huge psychological rupture there. And the second effect is that she becomes much closer to her dad. And the girls... Right, okay, I, is there any lights or anything on it? Let me just turn the lights off. No, there's no lights on it. Is it supposed to light up, I wonder? The bar worked as a public defender. She was a good lawyer because she did the work. Right, okay, let's uh, let's turn it off. So I'm unplugged now, and I think let's have a look on the inside, see for example if anything's supposed to light up, and then just give everything a really good clean because you've seen how dusty and everything it is. So yeah, it's not really a fix-it video, but then again, those are people do what's called restoration videos on YouTube. So uh, yeah, maybe this can be a, a 1960s restoration video. And it was sold as 40. I'll just flash up the eBay listing in case some people don't believe me. You can see that I didn't check the fuse anyway because of the uh, when I took the fuse out, it, uh, it's disintegrated in my hands. Right, okay. Let's see what's what. I've got to be a little bit careful because there still might be charged capacitors. Ah. Oh, Look at that there, I just noticed this. Look at that massive like airspace capacitor here. I'll tell you what that was in. That was in that globe radio I did. Well, I am going to get a vacuum cleaner and just clean out the inside here. And then we can start, uh, start working on it and having a look on the inside, see if we can see anything interesting. should be able to just take this out completely if I unhook it from the speaker here. So again, I'm just going to make a note of what wire goes where. Excellent. Hopefully 
Hopefully I won't get shot. Perfect, look at that, we're out. Oh no, we're not. We've still, oh yes we are, we can just unplug this aerial thing here. So now, let's just pop this down on the floor. We can worry about this in a few minutes because we need to clean up all the, the contacts and the switches, try to make them work nicely again. And also we need to hoover it out. That's great that that comes apart like that. A few of you might have noticed something in the different, different. You might think, what's changed in Vince's videos? Can you see the grain off the tables going a different way? Yes, I've moved into a different room and I've got all the, uh, I've got it all set up now. In fact, let me show you. Let me get another camera and show you. There you go, look at that. I've got my own little dedicated table. I've got my little YouTube sign in the corner there. I've got my lighting, I've got my camera up there pointing down. Well happy with it now. So uh, yeah, so the table's a different orientation than it was before. Do you recognize that? That was the all-in-one that I fixed. What else is here that I fixed? Uh, the monitor. That monitor there that I fixed, I've got that monitor there because I can turn that one upside down so I can see kind of, it's not back to front, but then that's back to front, but it's okay because that's only gonna be when I wanna you know, really look at something closely. So I'm well happy with it now. So I've got more things to uh, more things to hand. I almost look professional. I've just got to up my game now and actually fix things. Look at the dust in here. Little spider living in here. Just gonna throw him outside. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Right, let's zoom in a little bit. Lights, there should be lights, excellent. Right, so it might be a fix-it video after all. Can you see here? We've got like a bulb here and a bulb here. So now how do we get to them? I think we have to take off the front. How much hassle is that gonna be? I don't wanna mess with any of the, uh, the strings, the pulleys. Look at that. Let me zoom out a bit. You can see the dust in here. So there's a nice big weight here. I think that's why it feels so nice when you turn it. The string looks in okay condition. Look at that, that's just beautiful. Look at that. How nice is that? Metal gears. This is just lovely. I presume this is a massive heat sink here. Look how thin those legs are going down here. And this is our little transformer, isn't it? For the 240 volts coming in. In fact, yeah, the wires are going off to here. I think these, these are the two wires here. Right, so you can see a nice pot down here that we can clean. This one down here. So these are gonna be for the volume and the tone. The tone's just tucked away under there. What I'm not sure about is what's this spring and wire for here? Is this to do with this bottom wire? Where's the bottom wire go off to? Around here, what's this about? Oh, this is to do with the tuning. Ah, not the tuning, the buttons, look. So now, there's a wire, there's a little string at the very bottom here, which goes to this spring. Ah. Oh, this one here. Hold on, one second. When I hit the others, nothing's happening. You see there's a pulley here, but when I hit this one, look, this moves. This one. So this one must be 
off. So instead of unplugging it, you hit this to turn it off. Yeah, this must kill the power coming into it. Can we check that out? Let's go on to continuity from here. Maybe it doesn't go direct to here. Maybe it goes to here and then from there, maybe one of the wires is broken. From here, maybe one wire goes to this switch and then goes through. Let's see. Let's go on to the live. Right, so live, is it coming up here? Right, it's coming up here. So let me, hold on now. More fuses here. Yeah, look at that, breaks it. Thing is, is that supposed to stay down? Because dropping when it gets to below 50, it will kick in. There you go. So does that go to here? Yeah, now, is the neutral broken? No. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that, because if that doesn't stay down, surely it's just going to turn back on again. Don't quite know what's happening there, if I'm honest with you. But anyway, we can, uh, we can worry about that a little bit later. So let's look at these little lights up here. So what do we have to undo? Screw, screw, screw. Right now, let's put this all the way over. Well, mind you, this isn't gonna make a difference, is it? This is just a knob, so it shouldn't matter where this goes on. Well, it can only go on one way anyway. There we go. Excellent. That can be given a nice clean all around here. Made in Germany, in Grundig, all stamped. 220 volts. Oh, and look at that side there. That's 110 volts. So, I suppose if you were, does this thing unhook? Just be careful now. So that goes there. And, hold on. Let me just see something. Yeah, isn't that clever? Right, okay, look. This is so nice. So we can read it out the back. You can see the difference between the dirt and, and the clean bit, yeah? So it's at 220 volts while it's on that jumper, that jumper, and that jumper. But, when we yeah, so when we do that, you, you can see that we can actually read 220 volts through here. Yeah, you can actually, when I push it down, you'll be able to read it. But look, if we were to put it on the 110 volts, and if we were to use the same contacts, there, there, and there, you're not gonna be able to read 110 volt. It would just say 10 volts. So you need to put it on those contacts, those jumpers there. And if we put it on those jumpers and push it down, you will then be able to read 110 volts. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That's how you do it. You just jumper it there. So again, that would be done at the factory depending on the destination of the, uh, of the device, you know, UK or Europe, America, etc. Right, okay. Let's uh, look at these bulbs here. Oh, look at this. We really will be able to give this a nice clean up. Yeah, that's gonna come up good. These are lovely bulbs. They're like diffused. So, is the bulb broken? How do you undo them? The screw. Osram, good make. Seven volt, 0 0.1 amp. Well, I'm certainly not gonna have any of them. Let's see if we have continuity there. It'd be great if the bulb was okay, because then it means, because uh, I haven't got any of them, it means I might be able to fix it today if it was like a bad solder joint or something. Oh, look, we've got another bulb down here as well. But that looks different, that type. 
Right, so on continuity. And we've got nothing there. Yeah, so unfortunately the bulb, that bulb has blown. Let's do this one here. So they're gonna be given a nice diffuse light. Don't like the way they've done that. But saying that, if it works, it works. Can you see the way it's diffused? It's lovely. Don't think I'm gonna be able to buy then. Yeah, unfortunately they've gone. There we go, you can un unclip it. Right, so this isn't diffused. Is it still seven volts? No, this is six volts at 0.3 watts. Okay. And these ones are seven volts and 0.1 amp. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Let's just check this one here. Now that they've, they've all gone, they've all gone. So I need to check on eBay, see if I can buy them or not. I think what I'm gonna do now is just clean everything. So I'm gonna get a Q-tip. For example, we have a huge, uh, just a mess of dust everywhere. So uh, yeah, let me get a Q-tip, some isopropyl alcohol, and uh, let's just give this a nice good, nice good clean, and I can get a wet wipe and some kitchen towel and clean up all, for example, all down here. Then we can get some deoxit and put it in the switches down here. Where else are we gonna put it? I suppose we could put it in these switches here as well. Oh, that's how these switches work, look. They get pulled out. So watch this. Can you see, it gets pulled out. So now, they appear to be working better already. I think once we clean, because you can see it's slow here, when I press that in, that's slow to go back in. It's, I think it's this bar, this bar here is under tension, does that push them back? When I do that, yeah, it's something to do with the bar. It's what pushes the other switches down. Yeah, I think when we clean that, that will work. Then we have a contact at the very end. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure if that's supposed to pop in or how do we get rid of that. Yeah, so this one here is still not working. The others appear to be. Don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, we'll worry about that after we clean it. So I'm just going to play some music. I'll give a shout out to my mate Vince Massive and uh, yeah, let's just relax and hopefully watch this thing slowly transform into a clean machine. So the massive this month consists of da -da 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 -da, kitdigital.com, Kip Hakes, Max Rokotansky, Having Fun Repairs, Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service, Will Michaelis, Chris Seal, Felipe at MrKeebs.com, King Curd from Lowbook Auto Sales, DJVG, Stuart Park, Ellis Garber, Pigsy, the My Mate Vince Fan Club, Braden Butts from Connecticut, and Kenneth Blenstrap Sorensen. Massive thanks guys to each and every one of you. Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find, they seem impossible to score So I belong to somebody find that vintage love Right, sorry to interrupt, but if you look here, this is working now, because watch this, you can see that that switch has gone in the uh, on position, yeah? So, uh, you see now, watch, 
see this is down here, yeah, this one that cuts the whole thing. And if I go here, can you see it keeps it in the off up position? Yeah. yeah. So the only way we can turn it on again is to hit one of the other buttons. Yeah, so that's going to be working now. We should be able to double check that with the multimeter again. All right, we can actually do it straight from the switch here, can't we? Right, so that cuts it, and then when we hit one of these, it comes back on. And cuts it, comes back on. Perfect. Oh, that's quite clever. So look, they've got like nylon thing here that looks like a fishing line, and that's where this thing gets caught in between. So it can't just pop out and flap around the place, it has to go in between them. That's quite nice. So although there was nothing really learned so far in what was wrong with it, it was just the fact that it was a fuse, you're seeing that it's nice to still take things apart because you get to see the ideas behind things, you know, obviously they would have had to think about what's stopping this from wobbling around the place. Well then if we put it in between two torque bits of a nylon fishing wire, then uh, it's gonna stay, uh, stay in its groove. So that's kind of nice. I'm just going to use a bit of three in one oil just to put on this little bit here just to make it spin nice. It already spins nice, but I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I'm just going to wipe off the excess. Well, I've got my deoxit. Also, when I was looking for that, when I did the horse racing game, really enjoyed that video, I must have had to buy a pack of 10 bulbs and I've got four left over. If you have a look now, you can hear that these ones are obviously new, they're going to work. Problem is, they are only 4.8 volts, I think it says. 0.3 amps. So these are seven volts. So I've got a feeling they're probably gonna blow straight away, but maybe just to finish the video, because I'd like to get this uh, uh, edited up and finished today. I wanna buy, I wanna see if I can buy these ones. I'm sure I will be able to get seven volt lights. Whether I can get the ones with the, the fuse bits on, I'm not sure. Uh, if I can't, maybe what I could do is get some sandpaper and get a seven volt one and rough up the edges. I might be able to do that, but it would be nice if I could get the diffuse ones. Maybe they're quite common, I don't know. I haven't ever looked for them. But I think to do the video, this one here I might get away with because this one was, what was this, six volts? Six volts. Maybe this one here might not necessarily blow straight away, this one here. But I think I am gonna pop them in just to see. The worst thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna blow. They're not expensive, I know it is a waste but it would be nice just to see if they will work. All 
Also, I suppose that will give me an opportunity if it doesn't work to fault find it. Right, deoxit time. So this stuff's just really good for cleaning contacts. Right, hopefully some of that will work its way in. I'm going to do the same to the one just hidden in here as well. Right, okay, hopefully some of that will work its way in. Now, if you look at this one, can you see it's turning nicely? Nice and straight. But now look at this. Can you see it's uh, it's off center? Yeah. So this is nice, but this is bent. So I'm going to try to just bend that back in. That's better. Don't really know if I'm honest with you. I think it's still off, but hopefully it might be better. Well, I think I'm going to leave that there now. It's still an absolute mess in here. It's not as dusty as it was, but all I'm really doing is moving the dust and dirt around the place. So uh, I don't want to break any of the components in there. Uh, it's very hard to get to. The problem is it's kind of ground in dust. So with a dry brush, it doesn't really get rid of it. And when it's wet, all I'm doing is moving it around the place. And, you know, it's kind of just, uh, I'm getting bits off here, but it's not really making a huge amount of difference. So, uh, yeah, that didn't come out great. But as far as this is concerned, this has come out really nice and clean now. So now let's give, what else? Let me give this little lead a clean and then I'm going to clean up this bit here. And hopefully this will come out nice, all the bits around here. And then I can put these in some soapy water along with the this as well. And then hopefully if I use a toothbrush on that, that will all come up really good. This is really dirty. Look at that. Watch this. Nice and clean here, yeah? This is going to come up good. These are just little pointers here so you can move them to your favorite radio station. Not the nicest way of doing it, but I suppose it, uh, it works. And it's just done in alternate colors, red and green. All right, that looks nicer.
at that. All right, watch this, clean. Dirty. Right, let me get some wood glue for that. I'm just using a bit of PVA. But I'm going to have to put something heavy on that to weigh that down for a while. So uh, let me use the IPA. No, I need something. Let me use this with the IPA. There we go. Right, okay. Let's uh, balance. Let's go wash up the knobs. Let's get scrubbing. It's nice because it's got black grooves, but they're not actually black, they're just dirt. So once you start going along the groove, you can see that the, uh, the lines disappear. Right, so hopefully they're cleaner when I dry them up. There's certainly a lot of dirt that's come off them. See it all there at the bottom of the sink. Right, so what I have to do now is put it all back together. I'm not going to turn it on until it is all back together because I want to see what those lights look like because they might only last for a few seconds before it uh, before they blow. I also need to check on eBay to see if those lights are available. So the next time you see this, it will be put back together. I might try to get some pledge or something furniture polish just to see if I can put a bit of a shine back onto the wood up the top. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will be, uh, hopefully be working nicely. Right, we're done. I'm hoping it's gonna work. I haven't turned it on yet. I've looked into the little lamps down here and these ones are easy to get hold of. These ones, I can't get the diffused version. I can get seven volt ones, so that's not a problem. Interestingly, most of the sellers are from Germany. So maybe a seven volt, 0.1 amp, bulb there, lamp, might be quite common in German equipment. It's a shame I can't get the diffused ones. I'm sure if I look hard enough, I will be able to find them. So we are ready to turn on. As far as how it's come out, I'm really happy with it. It's not in good condition. I could make it look ever so slightly nicer by just touching up a few of the scratches with a bit of brown paint. I may do that if it's working fine. I've put some furniture polish around it so it's got a lovely smell. It's given it a little bit of a shine. Overall, it to me, it just looks so much better than it did before. So at the beginning, it was in a bit of a sorry state. Well, now, if you look at it, it looks quite respectable. And also round the back as well, looks good. So it all looks nice and clean now. So yeah, really happy with how it's come out. Right, let's plug it in and see if it goes bang, see what it does. See if we're going to get any light out of it at all. I really don't know if putting 7 volts into a 4 volt one will uh, kill it instantly. Right, we'll soon find out. Okay, so we're on there. Now, is it going to light up or not? Ready? I hit that one to make sure it was off. Should we turn off these main lights here to see if it lights up? Right, we should be able to see it now. Let me rest it down here. Here goes. Put the volume down low, bass treble in the middle. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks lovely. 
Oh, that looks so much better. Right. Oh, I didn't put, oh, I didn't put the speakers back in. Silly me, I didn't do the speakers. Right, bear with me. You know the two wires going to the speakers? I didn't uh, connect them up. I've seen this needle move in here, so it thinks it's got sound, but uh, no, that's, uh, that's why there's no sound coming out. Bear with me. Right, back again. I managed to just reach in and only undo one side. Right, turn it off here. On here, now. Here goes, let's put the volume down. Right. Now I've got to be careful, I can't do any music. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that is lovely. That was, of course, especially on a summer's day. I mean, I oh yeah, that's bass. I saw him play live at Listen. the carnival, you know. Um, oh, gosh, bass. I which, yeah, it would have been about and treble. 84, 85, they're about, so uh, maybe a bit later, maybe It goes very loud. It was a great gig. That was when, at the carnival, they still had... Um, on <laughs> Right, I've moved rooms to show it in its more natural habitat and this thing is beautiful. In fact, what I've done is that was my thumbnail there. Uh, I've just been listening to some music on it. It sounds really nice. Considering there's just one speaker on it, you could easily use this every day. It's, uh, it's lovely. Right, so listen to this. And it's got plenty of volume. Right now, that's kind of as loud as you want it, and we're not even halfway. It's got a huge amount of volume to it. It is absolutely lovely. Oh, I wish I could play you uh, play you more music, but uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's really, really nice. I love this thing. I think it looks so styly. And if you had that on display, it's more of a talking point than just having kind of something from, uh, you know, a local electrical shop or Argos or something. I think that just looks lovely. Really, really nice. So uh, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I will be hopefully working again tomorrow and the next day. And now that I've got my house sorted... I can uh, start knocking out a lot more videos, I hope. So this was a kind of nice uh, nice one to ease myself back into it because I haven't actually done any filming now in, uh, apart from the electric blanket, which you may or may not have seen yet, I haven't actually done any filming in about two and a half or three weeks, I think. So uh, yeah, this was a lovely one to get stuck back into it. So that is it. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>